Hello. Well, the rumors were true. Everything that came out prior to today was true. The only thing we didn't foresee is that the Google Store crashed right at 10 a.m. right when the keynote started. Man, serenity now! So we'll start off with the big bad boy, the Pixel 6 Pro. This is going for an amazing price of $899, even undercutting what the rumors speculated the price to be. And if you pre-order, you get a Pixel Buds A series. So here's a quick look at the phone right here. Got three striking colors to choose from, cloudy white, sorta of sunny, and stormy black. So the smartest and fastest Pixel yet, yes, this has Google's Tensor, their first custom-built processor, the most advanced Pixel camera ever, redesigned for more powerful performance, and most hardware security layers in any phone. So here we have advanced on-device AI, best-in-class computational photography for amazing photos and videos. I know the photos are gonna be lit, but as far as the video goes, well, we'll have to see an 80% faster performance, chip enabled maximum power efficiency for great battery life. Now, since this phone is optimized with the Google Tensor chip, uh, the optimization should be on point. So here's the most advanced Pixel camera ever. Capture brilliant color and vivid detail with Pixel's best in class computational photography and new pro level lenses. So here we have it, a 50 megapixel wide, 12 megapixel ultra wide and a 48 megapixel telephoto. Now the aperture for the wide is f1.85. So that's going to let in a lot of light and that's going to give you some great detail in low light situations. Oh well, yeah, there we go. Captures 150% more light. So with a bigger sensor and a faster processor, yeah, it's going to, the photo game is going to be taken to a whole new level. So we get four times optical zoom. Now this wide angle look is an exclusive for the, for the 6 Pro. This is gonna be magic. Use the magic eraser to remove photo bombers and unwanted objects so your subject is the star. They mentioned that this is not only gonna work with photos that you take with the new Pixel 6, but it's also gonna work with uh, previous photos that you've taken on other devices. You're just gonna be able to do this in the uh, Google Photos app. I don't know how they're doing it, but yeah, it's magic. So the Pro has a 6.7 inch smooth display, is made with cornering Gorilla Glass Victus. The toughest Gorilla Glass yet, with up to two times better scratch resistant than any previous Pixel phone. And with an IP68 protection, it can take a little water and dust. So you're protected. Just make sure to slap a case on it and you'll be good to go. Optimal performance, 120 Hertz refresh rate and LTPO technology that lowers the refresh rate to 10 Hertz to save battery. I mean, look at the, just the detail of the Android 12. I mean, it's just like, man. At a glance, intuitively surfaces your upcoming event reminders and more, like boarding passes before your flight, more modern and personal than ever. It's the first phone that's built around you. Now this does not come with the charging brick, so hopefully you got one laying around, but um, yeah. And uh, the, the wireless charging uh, pixel stand isn't available yet to order, but I think it's 80 bucks. So that's an additional cost if you wanna get that, but of course it'll work with any regular Qi wireless charging. You'll be able to charge the device wirelessly that way. So, all right, let's go to the Pixel 6. And of course, <laughs> they're still having issues with the, uh, with the website. All right, there we go. So the Pixel 6, the base, starts out at 599. If it does exactly what Google is claiming that it's gonna do, this is an amazing price. This can be the phone of the year, the most recommended phone out of any brand, Apple, Android, it doesn't matter. This is gonna change the game. Uh, this is the sort of sea foam looks really good, as well as this kind of coral, and then the stormy black. So a whole new pixel design around you. Okay, so that's the same thing. All right, so talking about the chip, talking about the sensor yet again. So that's pretty much the same as the Pro. You still got the magic eraser. You still get the motion mode, the faces without blur, the portrait mode, of course, authentic, accurate portraits. So here we got a little uh, comparison chart right here. Oh, so the Pixel 5 is no longer available. Wow. Okay, they, they squashed that one real quick. So I guess we'll compare it to the 5A, 5G. But look at this, you know, you pay 150 bucks more and you're gonna get quite a bit more. So we have more available colors with the 6 and the 6 Pro than with the 5A. The 5A is a little bit smaller in uh, screen size, uh, 6.3 inches, 
compared to 6.4 on the Pixel 6 and 6.7 on the Pixel 6 Pro. All three have the same network capabilities, 5G, uh, Quad HD Plus for the Pro, you got Full HD Plus for the regular 6, and you got Full HD Plus for the 5A 5G. So on the, on the 6 and the 5A, uh, both the same aspect ratio, whereas the Pro is a little bit different. So you're gonna have a smoother display on the 6, but not as smooth as on the 6 Pro. HDR support, yeah, that's nice. Always on display, the now playing. So you're gonna get a bigger battery on the Pro, but then again, it's got a bigger screen and a higher refresh rate, so you're gonna need that bigger battery. I think the 6 is gonna hold up really well as far as battery tests go uh, compared to the 2. I think it, it probably will out, outlast the, the Pro. Fast charging, fast wireless charging, battery share, so you can use the, the juice on your phone to charge up the Pixel Buds. So here we go into the stuff that really does matter. Um, six gigabytes of RAM for the 5A 5G, eight for the six and 12 for the Pro. And also with the Pro, you're getting 512 gigabytes. Uh, that's where Max is out at, whereas the six is 256 and the 5A 5G is just 128. Bye bye Snapdragon, no more of that. And so here's the camera, which a lot of people, including myself, really focused on. So with the 6 and the 6 Pro, it's the same main camera, same aperture, okay, cool. Uh, laser detect autofocus, still the same. Optical image stabilization, uh, 82 degrees field of view, f2.2 aperture, 114 degrees field of view, lens correction. And see, this is where the Pro has, it's got the telephoto camera, 48 megapixels, 3.5 f aperture, 23.5 uh, degrees field of view. Oh, and even the front camera is a little bit uh, not as good. So eight megapixel on the six, F2 aperture, uh, fixed focus, whereas the Pro has 11.1 megapixel, uh, F2.2 aperture, fixed focus. So wider field of view, 94 degrees, whereas 84 on the regular one. Yeah, let's, okay, let's disregard that. But <laughs> as far as the camera features for the six and the six Pro, they, let's just double check, ba, 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 ba. yeah, they match up. Same uh, audio speakers, it seems to be. Now the Pixel Pass, it's eligible, launches with Android 12. Let's see, what is Pixel Pass? All things Pixel, all in one plan. Dang, so you get Google One, YouTube Music Premium, Google Play Pass, Preferred Care, and YouTube Premium. Let's see how much this costs. Okay, pick your plan. So Pixel Pass is 55 bucks a month for the Pro and $45 a month for the 6. One monthly bill, upgrade every two years, no contract, one place to manage. So I'm gonna make a bold prediction right now. And you guys let me know in the comments down below if you guys agree with me. I see this as the Pixel 6 Pro being the Xbox Series X and the Pixel 6 being the Xbox Series S. So in that regard, I'm gonna go on the record and say that the Pixel 6 is gonna be just fine for a majority of people. And if you wanna see my top seven reasons why I love the Xbox Series S, go ahead and click on the card right there. But until next time, Handsome Nation, thank you and have a good one.